This is the second video in the mathematical devices used in deep learning playlist. Matrix dot product is the second mathematical device. Let's take a simple example. A restaurant sells pot pies, beef, chicken, and vegetable at $3, $4, and $2 per unit respectively. And this table gives you the unit sales day-wise and item-wise. So how do we find the total sales on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday? Dot products can, could be used uh, to accomplish this. So we are modeling the problem as a one by three matrix. That is the unit price is one row and three columns. And we are modeling the uh, unit sales to be three rows and four columns. It's three by four matrix. Now we can find the dot product. Remember that the dot product of a matrix can be found only if the number of columns of the first matrix is equal to the number of rows of the second matrix. So in this case, number of columns of the second and first matrix is three, and number of rows of the second matrix is three again. So dot product is possible. So how do we do, do dot product? You multiply the first row first column to the first row first column of the second matrix, three times 13, plus the second column first row of the first matrix, to the second row, second column of the uh, first column of the uh, second matrix, which is four times eight, plus third column, first row of the first matrix, to the um, first last row, third row, first column of the second matrix, which is two times six. The total yields eighty-three. Like that, we can we'll get. 4 times 9, uh, sorry, 3 times 9 plus 4 times 7 plus 2 times 4, which equals $63. Similarly, 3 times 7 plus 4 times 4 is $37. Similarly, 3 times 15 plus 4 times 26 plus 2 times 3 equals $75. So we got a one row, four column resultant matrix. So applying the same principle on a neural network, uh, let's assume that there are two neurons are in the input layer, x1 and x2, with synapses connecting to the hidden layer. Um, every uh, neuron is connected to uh, every other neuron. So there are four synapses. So uh, we can reduce it into a, a matrix dot product problem by we can get the second layer Z by multiplying the matrix X to matrix W.